Hi, Gene here with today's thought, and today's thought takes us to the Middle East. Now, the Israelis are known, it's common knowledge, whatever you think of them, that they have a very powerful and efficient army, certainly the best army in the Middle East. But what they also don't get credit for is the little things that come from their creativity. They are very creative in going after their enemies. Now, we all know about the targeted assassination right in the middle of Beirut of, uh, of um, a Hezbollah leader. And then we have another one of a Hamas leader assassination right in the middle of Tehran, and there they somehow managed to get a bomb in, into Tehran. They managed, if you re think back, they managed to, uh, I think it's 500 tons, several tons of classified documents. They stole them from a warehouse right in the middle of Tehran, and uh, Netanyahu did a whole big presentation over that. They are very good at finding creative ways of, well, not just uh, hurting their enemies uh, physically, but humiliating them, showing which I think I've said this in the past is a, one of their most powerful weapons that they should use uh, more, especially against Iran, to show that Israel, whatever uh, precautions Israel's enemies take, they can always find a way to get somebody, and they always, they're just so creative, and that's what we're going to talk about today. You may have already seen this headline. I, I hope it'll be on the evening news. I'm recording this in the afternoon uh, before you're seeing this. And um, we'll see what shakes out. But it's been pretty widely, widely reported. I'm going to show you a headline from AP. And let's go. Well, what you have to know first, before I give you the headline, is that recently, I think a few days ago, the Israelis thwarted an attempt, by which shows how bad they are at, at this, that uh, some... I think it was Hezbollah. Well, they, they didn't give any details, didn't even give, give the name of the Israeli official, except that is a, a former defense official, but they thwarted, the Israelis thwarted an assassination attempt uh, against him. So that failed, but now we have this news that just came out today, and now we can go right to the headline. A wave of exploding pagers in Lebanon and Syria kills at least eight, including members of Hezbollah. Hundreds of handheld pagers exploded near simultaneously across Lebanon and in parts of Syria on Tuesday, killing at least eight people, including members of the militant group Hezbollah and a girl, and wounding the Iranian ambassador, government and Hezbollah officials said. Officials pointed the finger at Israel in what appeared to be a sophisticated remote attack that wounded more than 2,700 people at a time of rising tensions across the Lebanese border. The Israeli military declined to comment. Lebanon's health minister, uh, Firas Abiyad, said at least eight people were killed and 2,750 2, wounded. 200 of them critically and I have video for you of one of these uh, one of these little incidents here so um, let's go right to this video So you have an attempt on a former Israeli defense uh, official, and now you have over 2,700 exploding uh, pagers in Lebanon and Syria, uh, killing eight, wounding uh, 2,700, more than that. And, well, uh, maybe, I don't think that's a coincidence, do you? And so, obviously, uh, the Israelis are denying uh, any, they're not commenting, but we can pretty much guess what happened. Now, the only little criticism I have is that whether they should have found a different way and, and saved this little uh, trick that they have up their sleeve for, for later, the, the Israelis, because it's looking more and more like there is going to be a war, that Israel has had enough. They already told um, uh, a couple of uh, 
uh, officials, Defense Minister uh, Gallant, told uh, Hochstein the um, either either him or um, or Blinken or somebody that they're fed up. They've been we've been trying to use diplomacy to to defuse the situation and prevent an all-out war. And the it's not the as you would expect the diplomatic efforts are not getting anywhere. And the Israelis are telling uh, us that they've had enough, and, and it looks like they're going to go in. So if I were the Israelis, unless, or maybe they have something else up their sleeves, but could you imagine? Israel invades uh, Lebanon, and right at that moment, or just before that moment, the um, all these cell phones explode and, and wound all these. Because these are, it said, members of, including members, including members of, Hez, of Hezbollah. But it was mostly Hezbollah. Hezbollah. These pages were were bought by Hezbollah for Hezbollah. So. Uh, imagine all these uh, explode 2700 exploding um, pagers all these wounded uh, uh, Hezbollah operatives and some of them have to be fighters right just as the Israelis are invading can you imagine the chaos that chaos that would cost would cause so I, I wonder why they they picked now to spring that particular uh, trap but anyways the deed is done, and I am, for one, um, uh, every time a Jew gets killed uh, in Israel by a terrorist, or you have the Arabs, uh, Palestinians dancing in the street, so uh, I'm going to do a little a figurative dance. I'm not going to get up and dance around, but uh, to me, this is a good news day that this happened. And, oh, I'll just throw one, in one other little tidbit here, how creative the Israelis are and how that they dialed all the the pagers they called all the pagers so that to to make it more likely that the um the, that the victim would be holding a pager so they would call and then wait for the people to pick up the pagers and then they exploded them so Pretty neat idea, huh? So, and I guess that's my thought for today. Thanks for stopping by. Comments, uh, welcome below the comment below the video in the comment section. Uh, if you could subscribe, that would really be great. Share this video with anyone you think would benefit from it. But most of all, come back and see me again. I would love to see all of you again. And until I do see all of you again, bye.